Hello YouTube viewers, thank you for tuning into my channel today. And today I want to give you a demonstration on how to use this Olympus Tough TG6 camera that I use for my videos. I also use it for photos. And someone had asked me what kind of camera do I use. So that gave me the idea to come back to you with this video. Now I'm able to do this video because I have two identical cameras. The one that I'm holding and this one here. Identical. And they're both black. But they do come in two colors. Red and black. This camera includes a strap. Which I don't have right now. I'm not sure where I put it. But it does come with a strap. And it does come with the adapter and the USB cable. So I'm going to be showing you how to use that. Uh, I'm going to place the camera right here. And um, this is the adapter that you use if you want to charge it. Now the camera has a little compartment right here. And it also has a little safety feature here. But I don't use the safety feature. I just use this here to open it and it just snaps open. So you see two slots here. The bottom one, that is where you will insert the end of the USB cable. You will insert it in there and then you charge it. Now, if you want to connect it to your laptop or your computer, all you have to do is disconnect this piece. So this is the part that you plug into your computer or your laptop okay so right now I'm going to disconnect this because I want to show you the features that the camera has and how it works so let's place it back here where it was initially so in order to turn this on this is the on and off button I'm going to put it this way here so that you can see. So that is the on and off button right there. I'm going to turn it on and you are going to see the screen light up. Okay, so it's on. Now you are going to see a screen that shows you the letter MDY that stands for month, date, and year. You can also set the time. I really haven't done that, so I'm going to bypass this in this case. So in order for you to just take a picture from here, what you need to do is press on this arrow here. Now that is a picture that I already had, but I want the camera to be in the position to take a picture. So I'm going to press the arrow again. Okay, you see how it gives me a clear screen? We are ready to take a picture. We're going to take a picture of the camera, the picture of the camera that's on the box, okay? So we are going to press right here. See how it took the picture? Now let's take a picture of that. Press again. Let's take a picture of this clock here. Okay, so we have three pictures there and one more picture of this clock, I mean of this uh, phone. Okay, now we have our pictures. Now we want to view the pictures. So to view the pictures, we are going to press on the arrow here. Now that was the last picture that we took of the phone that's here. So in order to see the pictures that we took, we are going to use this side here and we are going to press and you'll see what it does. You see how it scrolls sideways? Those are the pictures that we took. Now if we want to scroll the other way, there is another feature here. You press this and the pictures change in the other direction. Okay? So that is how you view your pictures. Now, if it's nighttime or it's dark 
where you're taking the picture, you need flash, right? So, over here, you will see the letter P. You need to rotate this and align the letter P with that little white area there. Okay, now let's take another picture and you're going to see the difference because you're going to see it flash. So let's take a picture of something else. Let's say this area here that I have, okay? And this is the camera. So let's take a picture of the area and you will see the difference. You will see it flash. I'm not sure if you're noticing that, but let's just take, let's just take other pictures right there. Okay, now, I'm not sure if you saw, but it was flashing. So now to see those pictures, we are going to press on the little arrow here where we pressed before, okay? See how even I came out in the, in the picture? So I'm going to scroll sideways like that. So these are all the pictures that I took. Now if we were in a dark area, because of aligning it with the P, the little white area, you align it with the P, because of that you'll get flash. So why don't we go now and film? Okay, so we want to film. Now we are going to rotate this little uh, round circle here. We're going to rotate and we're going to align this little, uh, this, it's a picture of like a little projector. We're going to align it with the white area, just like we did with the pictures. So now it's on a screen and it's ready to film. In order to film, you need to press here on the red. Now you'll see a little blinking light that means that it is filming. So everything that I am filming now, you will see as a video. Okay, look at that mermaid. Now if I want to zoom into the mermaid there is a feature up here you're going to pull it towards you and look at how it zooms into the mermaid and if you want to zoom out you use the same but that way You see the difference? So that is the video. So why don't we stop the video, press red, and it's not blinking anymore, right? But now you want to view the, uh, the video. So here's the arrow again. And you see these lines here? That means that that is a video. Now you want to play it. So you're going to press OK right here. And you're going to get this little screen that says play now, movie edit, share order on erase. We don't want to erase it. We want to play mo movie. So we are going to press on the OK right here. Now you see a little blinking light that means that it is filming. So everything that I am filming now, you will see as a video. Okay, look at that mermaid. Now, if I want to zoom into the mermaid, there is a You see, so now we want to stop this video and we are going to press OK again. So the video is stopped. Now, if we want to erase the video, we're going to press on the arrow here. Press again. We have the video. But now we want to erase it. So we are going to press right here under the word OK. We're going to press. Now it will ask yes or no. You want to say yes. So you are going to use this feature to highlight the yes. And now you will press OK. And it erased it. That's just the picture. That's the next picture, remember? that we took pictures. 
Remember those pictures? But we did erase the video that we took. So in order to turn it off, we are going to turn it off here. And it's off. Now what else? Now if you want to eject the little SD card, it's located right here. There's another compartment. So the SD card and the battery are together. In order to, uh, to remove the SD card, you just have to press in and then it will come out. See the SD card? You can pull it out. Okay, this is the SD, the SD card that I use. You can place it back in there and you have to push it so it can stay in. And to eject the battery, oops, to eject the battery, there's a little button here. Not sure if you can see it right there. If I press down, the battery comes out. And this battery is included with the camera. Now, the cost of the camera, it's 400 and something dollars. Uh, my hubby bought me both and each one was 400 and something. I mean, you might be able to get it, get them cheaper if you get them on a holiday, some type of sale. Now, in order to uh, push the battery back in, you have to push it all the way until it clicks. So now that means it won't come out. You see what I'm saying? So you close this back up and it's closed. So this is a pretty heavy duty camera. I've dropped it like maybe two or three times. It didn't break, but of course you don't want to be dropping cameras just to drop them. I'm just saying that it's pretty heavy duty and it is waterproof too. Okay, and it's always good to keep it in a pouch. It doesn't include a pouch, but I have one here that's like a little cosmetic pouch and it's perfect for the size of the camera. So when I carry it somewhere, I put it in there and it fits perfectly. Just so that you can protect the screen. Mine is a little bit scraped. You know, the wear and tear. You know how it is, just like a car. So anyway, so if I want to charge the camera, I'm going to show you how to use that, how to how to do that. So remember this compartment, let's open it. Snaps open and we take the end of the USB cable, the small end, and we are going to align it with the bottom area there. Now we have, let's the adapter right here. We're going to connect this. Now we have this. Let's take it to an outlet just so that you can see what it looks like when it's charging. Here's the outlet. Here's the adapter. And that's the camera. So I'm going to plug it in. And you'll see that it the screen is lit up now in like a minute or two it's going to show a battery and it's going to show the battery maybe half empty I, I think it's not empty but right now I didn't need to charge it I'm just showing you what to do to charge it so that is it that is it so I hope that you enjoyed this demonstration if you're interested in a camera like this. Now you know the basics. And remember, if you have any other questions, there's always instructions that are included. Or you can watch YouTube videos too on this type of camera if you want to know more about it. Now there is something that does happen every now and then and it has nothing to do with the camera. It has to do with the chips. But I did get a, a uh, little message saying write protect and I couldn't use my camera because the chip wouldn't let me take pictures or film 
for that problem I mean you can kind of you can remove the chip from the camera try it and if it doesn't work you might have to reformat it but that's a whole different ball game so um, I don't know much about that because I haven't done it but um, if you do want to know there are YouTube videos out there all you have to do is say Olympus tough TD6 you can also add the word right protect and some video will pop out pop up on that so so that's it so I hope that you enjoyed this video thank you for your time and thank you for watching